What's going on guys? Jacob here with Skinny Jason and we're going to be teaching you how to do the peck fly on the peck deck machine for hypertrophy. Now you'd think that the peck fly being a machine is a really simple exercise. You don't need to worry about technique. You just sit in, plug and play kind of deal. Wrong. The way that you ex execute this exercise will make a big difference to how much tension stimulus you direct to the pecs and there are a few subtle tips and tricks that I'm going to give you guys today that will hopefully improve the way you perform this movement and allow you to get bigger, better titties. Titties. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, so the first thing is setting up the bench height. Now, Jason, being the early intermediate lifter that he is, doesn't really know what height he should set the bench up to. And as you can see, the handles are here, if Timmy swings around this way, we're gonna see when Jason puts his hands, God knows where they've been, I don't really wanna to touch those hands. When he puts his hands, put them on the normal, yeah, yeah. We can see that they're slightly higher than the base of his shoulder there. We wanna bring it a little bit lower. So the way we do that is adjust the bench. So if Jason jumps up, and it's a very minor adjustment, we just bring that up to about there. And when he sits back down again, when his hands are stretched out on the machine, they should be in line with or just below the base of the shoulder joint there. All right, so once he grabs on to the weights, the next important tip I'm gonna give you guys is to make sure that you start with a slight bend or flexion at the elbow, around 15 to 20 degrees, because this allows us to achieve a greater range of motion through the pecs, when we train the pecs. Now, what that'll allow you to do is get a bigger stretch. Now we know from a lot of prior research that there are some mechanisms behind stretch uh, in an exercise or loaded stretch that contribute to hypertrophy, so this is really important. If we have locked elbows, you're gonna just aggravate the bicep tendon and that's gonna limit your range of motion. So 15 to 20 degree bend in the elbow and that's gonna allow you to get a little bit more range and stretch through the chest. Now you're gonna keep your chest up and as you keep your chest up, we wanna keep our elbows slightly bent as we bring our hands together. We think about hugging a beach ball, but then as we get towards the top of the movement here, when the pecs are shortened, we want Jason, Timmy swing around here, to extend his elbows. Extend his elbows so that now we're getting that peak contraction through the chest. And as he stretches back out, we're gonna get that slight flexion. So bending the elbows to get that big stretch, so our elbows come past our torso, and then we bring our hands forward, hugging the beach ball, and locking the elbows as we get that peak contraction. Now one final tip I'll give you guys is to make sure that you're not reaching forward off the bench here. So we wanna come out and we don't want our back to come off the bench. We wanna keep our upper back on the bench and it's just gonna be our shoulders that move as we come through the movement there like that. Perfect, Jason. All right, you can rest there. Whew. Up here, 10. Not in the garage. Good man, not in the garage. <laughs> All right guys, so that's how we perform the peg fly on the pec deck. I hope you found that useful. If you did, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all next time. That's so cheesy.